What's going on everybody? Listen, I appreciate all the interaction and all the love and support on my Throwback Thursdays stories that y'all be watching and interacting with me on. I know it's a hassle clicking through everything and watching everything. So I'm choosing my top 12, 12, that's right. This is seven, but 12, you know what I mean? 12 that I fuck with. It's my shit, it's my show. Welcome to the Dawn's Dust. So right now, I'm gonna get into some honorable mentions before I get to my 12. I asked everyone what were their top three favorite fragrances. And I'm gonna let y'all know this was a very, very hard list. A lot of people actually had a lot of the same things because a lot of my homies and a lot of people have taste and we all grew up in the same era, the 90s. Ironically, yo, a lot of women started out their collection with the Victoria's Secret body sprays. Who knew? Cumbermelon and shit like that. That was y'all, shout to y'all. And fellas, we all know, shout to Brooke. Everybody's grandpa or pops had a brute bottle. Anytime I put that shit on, that shit used to burn. I don't understand that. Those are my two honorable mentions, and I'm gonna get into my list. Number 12, Obsession by Calvin Klein. That shit was just like one of the dopest commercials. You didn't know what was going on. It was like sex on TV. It was good. And when you put that shit on, it was like, damn, my sexy ass teacher wears that. I know that fragrance. But that shit was a movie. Rounding out the top 12, I guess, we going with number 11, CK1. Again, Calvin Klein. This was a brand that actually knew what they were doing when it came to fragrances, you can't front. They can be unisex fragrances. The CK1 was for everybody. That wasn't a, you know, a fragrance that was like, you know, just for women or just for men. That was a unisex moment. So shout to Calvin Klein for being number 11 and number 12, all right? So number 10, this is a big deal for us. A lot of men had this cologne, and if you didn't, one of your homies did. Jordan Cologne. Fire cologne. That Jordan brand cologne was epic. If Mr. Baggy Pants himself can't dress, that nigga smelled good. Shout to that nigga, B. For real. Good sneakers, good cologne, great steaks, bad attire. Number nine, I'm going with Fahrenheit. I didn't own Fahrenheit, but I knew a lot of homies that had that little burgundy reddish bottle. I know it was a movie, but it just reminded me of like creepy gym teacher and fucking weird history teachers. It just didn't do it for me. What was what we on right now? Number eight, Tommy Hilfiger. And I'm gonna also say Tommy Girl, because everybody had this cologne. This fragrance was a beast, you know what I'm saying? I used to wear this shit whenever I was Tommy down to my socks. Shout out to Tommy. And anyone that wore Tommy Girl was a movie. I always thought they was like Aaliyah in my book, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know Aaliyah smell like this, but come on. Number seven, Izzy Miyake. This cologne was introduced to me when I got to my 20s. This was when I wanted to hide that good old weed smell. And it killed everything about cannabis. And you smelled so good. I used to hold this in my car just in case I got pulled over. Shout out to Izzy Miyake. Number six. We know this right? This is six. Versace Blue Jean, man. This was a good cologne, all right? Everyone had this cologne. I don't even know if this was a unisex thing. Does anyone know? Because it was the Versace red, it was Versace blue, it was a yellow, and then it was green. Green was trash, everyone knows that. Someone hit me in my DMs and let me know, was this a unisex fragrance? Rounding out, we get into the top five right now. Number five, I like to call this one Haitian in a Bottle. My Zos had this one, Jean-Paul Gaultier. That little green bottle, homie, every Haitian I knew had this shit. My French teachers, all my homies, the, the, the corner store niggas, the laundromat owners, every Haitian I knew had JPG. Anybody who Haitian and had JPG, put your flags in the comments too, man. Cause that was a big deal for me. Don't forget, Supreme retroed it. So there's a bottle out right now, it's still in circulation in the world. If you need a bottle, go hit eBay or fucking StockX, you know they got it. Number four, Joop. That was a big deal. That was like cotton candy in a bottle. You couldn't tell me nothing in 10th grade. Shout out to my man Ox. Anytime I got something crispy out of the dry cleaners or brand new clothes and I knew I was going to wait to school on Monday, I went to Ox Crib and doused my shit. All right, people. So number three, listen. This was not a fragrance. This was more like fumes. You know what I'm saying? Dracar Noir. Everybody had this, and if you didn't have it, your uncle had it, or your crazy older brother, or your cousin, or somebody you knew, probably the janitor at your school, they all wore that shit. That shit was on you for like three days straight, maybe even a week, depending on what you put on you. Number two, Polo Sport. You guys know the vibes, I'm a low head. 
you understand what it is. I'm not gonna go in any further. A good blue bottle. Come on, B. We was all out here thinking we smell like Tyson Beck. I'm done and I'm letting it go at number one. Right now, everybody had cool water. Women, men, we all had it. It's like the gateway drug of fragrances. If cool water was a drug, it'd probably be the best piff ever. Shout to Hayes from 2001. Equivalents of cool water to us in the 90s. There you have it, people. Dawn's dozens. I'm out of here. Enjoy your Valentine's Day.